Nina, and you are? Sean. Excellent. Nina, do me a favor. Open up that deck of cards. Go ahead. We bought it in the dealer's room about an hour ago because I thought it was kind of pretty. Uh, take the cellophane all the way off, and then they tend to seal those things with a little sticker right there. I'm going to take that from you because I got a pocket knife. Yeah, you take it all the way off. And I'm just going to open it for you for safety reasons here. Perfect. You go ahead and finish opening that up and uh, take all of the cards out of the box for me, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, and there's uh, sometimes there's some weird cards on the top. Next, uh, let's take a look at what we got. Yeah, we got that, and then we're going to take off these and this and this and this. Why don't you do me a favor, take about half the cards, give them to Sean over there, and I want you both to shuffle them until you're happy. Like with the mix, not existentially. We don't have that kind of time. Um, but while you two do that, what I am... Nobody clap, that's not magic. I'm just keep on this cheap glasses. Um, yeah, keep going. If you're actually if you're un, if you're uncomfortable, just you can run around a big scrum around the table if you want. Yeah, absolutely. That's magic. No, it's a bit. It's like you can't trust anyone at Fism. Uh, I'll take those when you're happy. This is so good. This is so good. talk about expectations. I think expectations are fascinating because if you meet someone for the very first time, you get just a little bit of information about them, you start to form some expectations. For example, people meet me, they find out I'm from Ohio, they assume that I'm a giant college football fan and that I live on a farm. The truth is I have a liberal arts degree and I'm afraid of cows. As a magician though, the expectation is somewhat different, right? I'm expected to be able to take a deck of cards that somebody else's shuffle and cut straight to an ace. Thank you. But if the first ace is expected, then these three are a foregone conclusion. Thank you! Tell you what, Nina, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I, I, the expectation is that I'm gonna be performing some magic this afternoon, but I actually find teaching to be a much more interesting endeavor. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach you how to steal, play, uh, steal money with playing cards, specifically from that guy. Are you on board? Excellent. We're not going to use the aces that we use. It takes a lifetime to learn. We've got about six minutes left. We need something with a shorter learning to revenue ratio. So we're going to play three card Monty. You ever played three card Monty before? Oh, yeah. You're going to love it, right? You're going to love it. You are going to hate it, okay? Oh, but it doesn't use the aces. It uses the two black sevens and the red queen, specifically the queen of diamonds. Could you go through the deck and find the seven of clubs, the seven of spades, and the queen of diamonds? Seven of clubs, seven of spades, queen of diamonds. Some people will skin around with the aces, but we're not going to do that today. By the way, if you're having any trouble finding them, that is because they are here in my hand. I know, I'm the worst. You know where the aces are? They're in the deck. Damn it. Yeah, I know. You don't have to look, just trust me. Uh, go ahead, you know what, go ahead and keep these. You can go show your friends later. So the way this works is that these cards go face down like that, and then people mix them up, and then they bet money to see if they can figure out which one is the queen. And actually, uh, I'm going to teach you to play the game. I'm going to teach you how to lose the game. Uh, so just, if we were betting, which one is the queen? Middle one? Excellent guess, right? So you have smart money's usually on the second one, right? Now the trouble with this game is that I have to say it in quotes because it's actually more of a scam or a con, like an M. Night Shyamalan film. And, you know, magicians have been studying this for years. They know the little, like, fancy bits that transform it from a game into a crime. And, you know, given where we are, there's a better than even chance that he's a magician. So you can still use this to steal money from a magician. You just have to play it with invisible cards. You get two black sevens and the red queen, and you mix them. You know, you were never going to learn anything if I do all the work for you. So go ahead, get in there and mix those cards up. How's that? That was toad's perf. Yeah, right. Now we need to get some skin in the game, because on the streets we play for cash. So what I want you to do, bet him $20 that he can't find the queen. I bet you $20 you can't find the queen. You have $20. No. I'll spot you. Now in a moment, you are going to have to make a decision. Position one, position two, or position three. Wherever you say, she's going to place the bill. Between you and me, the smart money's always on position two, and you look like a pretty smart guy. So wherever he says, place the bill. Sean, which one is the queen? Definitely two. Definitely two. Go ahead, place it on two. Excellent. That's so good, Sean. It's like you've played this game before, because if you look under the bill, there's a card, and it's the queen. That was amazing. You win. We're going to play best of three. Okay, so you just lost me $20. What you did is good, right? It's called setting the hook. You see, he won a little bit of money, now he's gonna wanna win a little bit more, right? So we're gonna take this dude, we're gonna put this queen, we're gonna put it back down. Now what I need you to do is switch the two black sevens. Go ahead and switch the two black sevens. Dope. 
No Not chill. Stays in there. I bet you fifty dollars you can't find a queen. I bet you fifty dollars you can't find a queen. You have fifty dollars. Not yet. I will spot you. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen this before. Uh, John, same deal as before. You have to make a decision. Position one, the card you can see, or the other one, where he says you have to place the money. Now, I know you're in an awkward position. There's only one you can see, so we both know where you have to put the money, right? Excellent. Sean, which one's the queen? Position two. Position two. Go ahead and put it on position two. Yeah, I understand why you'd say that. It is the only one you can see. Unfortunately for you, that's a black seven. <laughs> yeah, the smart money's under position one. You should have put it there. That's the queen. Ha! Now your money belongs to us. He's mad at you because you cheated him. Technically, I cheated you, but I don't think anyone in this room is keeping score today. You definitely stopped keeping score for that French guy. He was awesome. Uh, all right, now here's what we're going to do, right? We're going to go for all the cash, okay? We're going to take this queen, we're going to put it back down like that. When you put it down, you put it down very aggressively, so now there's a bend in the corner of the card. You don't say anything about that, right? He's going to see it. He's going to think he knows which one is which. The pros call this throwing the lug. Take this seven, put it back down. There's only two moves left, and I'm gonna make them for you because they're wicked tough. You ready? Ready. Smooth. Now we're gonna raise the stakes all the way up. Bet him a hundred dollars he can't find the queen. I bet you a hundred dollars you can't find the queen. I bet that you don't have a hundred dollars. Nope. I'll spot you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm out. Do you have anything like an NFT or something? You got this. <laughs> it's not a picture of a monkey in a boat. Um, tell you what, we'll go to my stash. <laughs> Very nice. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred dollars. You don't have to put the money anywhere, just keep an eye on the cash because we might have to run. Sean, it's the moment. Nice work. Did you see what she did? While you were focused on the cash, she got in there and switched it, so now the red queen is right here next to my left hand. Stellar work. Sean, last chance. Which one's the queen? Ben Corner gets them every time. Weren't you paying attention? You see that right there? That's the red queen. You're very good at losing. You see this one? And this one? These are right. They're the black sevens. Thank you so much. Sean, you were awesome. Nina! Nina, yes. uh, you are going to go home and you are going to play this game at home, right? But when you play this, remember, you might encounter a magician. But when you play this at home, you play it with invisible cards. Nina, that is for you. Sean, that is for you. My name is Eric Tate. You guys have been wicked. Thank you so much. Can I get a big hand for these two? They did the hard work. Yeah, yeah. Good night.